Hello, everyone. Um, just to say what an honor it's been to be on the jury and to, to do this work for Wasafiri. I truly enjoyed reading all the pieces that we received, and it was obviously very difficult to whittle down the selection um, to our shortlist, but I feel that um, we, we were all very happy with uh, the eventual outcome in the sense of the, the difference in tones and registers and, and themes. Um, I think particularly for poetry, it's been such a moment where we are now still emerging or trying to emerge from this pandemic. And I know that so many people have turned towards poetry uh, to kind of find center or meaning or to have a sense of, of recovery or what it might mean in this emergence. So um, the poems were a particular gift and I would like to uh, name the shortlist um, and um, they are um, Ghost Talker Poem by Dorcia Smith Silva. If you read this backwards, Blood Becomes Wine by Jordan Hamill. Almost Shehrazad by Shireen Leanne, which is a wonderful Russian doll of a poem that um, really is sort of placing this epic in a different context. Um, I love the mix of registers in this poem. Um, it's a really deft piece of writing. Um, the Autopsy by Asma Jema. And this poem is so wonderfully controlled and full of grief with a great sense of spacing and breadth. And it does something wonderful with language and movement and uh, grief and the body. The poem that I will read now, the winning poem is called Safarnama. It's by Dipanjali Roy. And this poem I came back to many times. It was like a haunting in some way, certain lines echoing in my head. And I can only describe the experience of this poem as a kind of drowning, as a washing over um, in a pure lyric sense. Safarnama. Early one morning, the meridian comes slicing through me as an origin story. I am neatly bifurcated and I do not blink. The world cracks through me and I do not blink. I stretch my limbs, I hum in front of the mirror, I drink a cup of coffee, I run through the trees. Home is far away. Each day I pull farther and farther out of reach. Axis is a weighted concept. Mostly I just dream. In one of our worlds, there was a field of wheat, jade horses swimming under twin moons. You and I sound asleep together each night under the pale lamplight was a condition that formed the crackling ontology of its event horizon. Here amongst other things, the light never really stops breaking. There are foxes in the meadows and jackals in the fields, but the desire of man doesn't lay itself like a mask over the everyday carnage of our everyday hunt. You and I walked through the forest amongst all of its regular hunter-gatherers, the crows, the wolves, the children, the ghosts, and emerge from it reckless, phantom, fading, Truthfully, I think that I have been fading for some time now, anyway. In one of our worlds, I run an apothecary of ordinary dyads, Galileo and bobtail squid, riptides and forget-me-nots, hot water bottles and that great spawning each November of the barrier reef. In one of our worlds, 10 years ago, there was a piano stool wide enough to accommodate the both of us side by side. In one of our worlds, I prayed for a miracle and instead received a bushel of heart seed, three branches of moon leaf, a tepid cup of chicory coffee, a bowl of nimki, a colony of jellyfish fluorescent in an aquarium above my head, 20 babies gurgling spit at the metro station, a bowl of peaches, a bar of soap. In one of our worlds, there was a house, a hill, a tree, 
an orchard full of oranges in the swollen monsoon heat. Here, everything grows always and only ever so slightly out of reach. And how long do you think you can keep loving things unto their death like this? In this world, I begin to believe all wonder lies in the wreckage of a wound. In the half dark, in the breaking light, we might have walked through it all. In one of our worlds, we have walked through it all. Yes, yes, and yes again, for as long as I know that there is a world and daily we are loving things unto their death in it. If I am to build a home of this wreckage, then give me the grace to love it whole and let me repeat for the sake of one last epiphany. Yes, I stretch my limbs, I hum in front of the mirror, I drink a cup of coffee, I run through the trees, desire harvests the mouth of the dream. It is what it is. I throw the planet of my loneliness at you. We walk through it all.